Jungle Wild. I am Keisha Sharp, and I am a Black actress. Wow, what has been my trick for sustaining as an actress? The work, loving what I do, and wanting it to be the best that it can be. What my husband says crazy, I guess that's a good word for it. When I get a role or get a piece, I wanna feel every part of that role. And I think that helps in sustaining a career because it's not about fame, it never has been, it's always been about the work. And um, I think that helps with um, people hiring you. I have not had to have a regular job and sustain this career. And the reason for that is I have a husband and that doesn't mean that he's like a sugar daddy. So I just wanna say that. Um, he works really hard <laughs> and um, I haven't had to. Um, I think I would have to because there's times there's breaks in there when you're not working. Um, and I also, when I was living in New York, I, I sang so I would do industrials all the time in between working. And I, I enjoyed that, but I have been, you know, lucky in the sense that my husband doesn't, not that he can make me do anything, um, but make me go out there and get a job when I'm not um, doing what I'm pursuing. So I think that has a lot to do with it because he, he's just been so good. What are my high moments of my career? <laughs> okay, I'm going to mention a few. I was just speaking about this movie. And and every time someone mentions this movie, I'm always like, oh, Lord, is it a good comment or is it a bad comment? Okay, so I'll mention a movie. It's called Booty Tank. So I played this character who was licking up milk. Okay, we got it. But I tell you why. It was my first film. And when I was on set, I remember thinking and having this overwhelming feeling like, this is exactly where I'm supposed to be. From that moment on, I knew that I had to come to L.A. and I had to pursue that because of that particular movie. Essence Atkins and I working together, that was a highlight. <laughs> and um, are we there yet? That was so much fun. And I'm not just saying that because she's producing this. I'm saying that because it's true. We shot that series in like a year and a half. And we shot four to three episodes in four days of the week. And then we would have a little two weeks and then we would have a little time off. But what was so great about that is it felt like schooling. Like we had to do stuff like this, it was so much fun. You never got tired of the jokes. And they let me direct, which was really great. And that was a highlight that they trusted me. We did 100 episodes, so that was like the 99th episode um, when they really knew me and trusted me to do it. Um, that was an ex extreme highlight of my life as well. So this business is very, very uncertain, meaning you could work and not work. Um, you could be the best actress in the world and never work. Because you could sit around all day waiting for someone to call you, and that call may never come. It may, but it may never come. But if you're making your own opportunities, you can make it happen. Making your own shorts, making your own web series, making your own films, doing, there's so many opportunities now. So you can do Kickstarters, you can, you can get enough money, to get people to help, um, to make a great project for yourself that you can pass around and say, see, this is what I do. You guys haven't seen me do this because I'm pigeonholed as, as a comedic actress or as a dramatic actress or I'm not seen enough so you don't know what I do. All you see is what I do in that room and maybe that's not enough. So I think by making your own opportunities you can really deal with um, the uncertainty of the business. Well I think staying ready in this business means that you stay on top of your craft. Before going into high school is when I realized that this is something that I'm good at and I want to pursue. Staying positive in this business can be sometimes a struggle. And the, the reason I say that is sometimes, well, you know, when you're like watching something on television and it's not good, and I'm not going to mention anything because that's not nice, but people are working, you know, so that's great. But some of the projects, some of the television shows or some of the work, you're like, gosh, why can't, you know, this great project I read the other day, why can't someone pick that up? Because there's a lot of politics in the business. We understand that. And sometimes you can get down about that just a little. And then you remember, hey, are you doing something about it? Stop complaining. Get your butt up and write something. Get your butt up and, you know, produce something. Stop whining. So um, it doesn't last that long. I'm not, I'm not big on negativity in the business. I try to keep it positive and when something I don't like, see if you can change it. So for you youngums that are starting off in this business, all I can tell you is this. Love, love, love what you do. Create your own projects. Um, don't take rejection as something personal. It's, it's not, it never is. Take it as, hey, that was that girl's blessing, not mine or that man's blessing or whatever it is. I think if we have that, that thought instead of a self-centered kind of thing that can happen, I guess, to anybody when it's like, I didn't get it, what does that mean? Somebody else got it and they were meant to get it. 
And so that part of it, which can be hard on some young people, that, that it feels like someone's telling you you're not good enough, let that go. You are good enough. Just not for that role. Not, 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 not good enough. Just that wasn't meant for you. And also to really stay on top of your craft. Know, know yourself so well that you're able to tap into every little bit of who you are um, to portray a real person and create your own projects. Right, right for yourself, right for your friends. I think if you start off that way in this business, you go really far.